Alright guys, welcome back to some more Atomic Heart. If you guys missed the previous video, it was a lengthy one, but we finally escaped the facility we were locked in by powering up the birch tree with four different canisters. Uh, honestly, not my favorite section of the game so far. Uh, each of the four canisters had their own sections and gameplay to tackle, and some of them were drawn out too much, some of them were really boring, but... Please select the desired procedure. I think there was only one that I really enjoyed, but yeah. Do check it out if you missed it. Uh, let's see if I can get some upgrades. Effective range seems pretty useful. I'm gonna grab this. Um, and then character, can I get any upgrades? I grabbed this. Cluster munitions get increased capacity. Might as well grab this right, just because I can get some backpack space upgrades. This seems useful. We'll save them for now. Uh, Authorization, major needs. Let me check if I can upgrade my weapons. I still can't craft the Pashtet or the Fox or the MP. I don't have the resources for them, so. Uh, cartridge gun. So we have this, right? Can I get... No, I can't upgrade that yet. I can't upgrade that. I can't get that. And there's no upgrade for this. Okay. What about the Electro Gun? Nope. Nope. And nope. Alright, you know what? Let's just move on. Uh, so yeah, so far I do... Uh, it, it's been about what, three hours of gameplay and we finally looks like might be able to venture into the open world. Which is bizarre to say, considering... You think a game that has an open world aspect to it would like like us to venture into it early on, right? Uh, rules for using the Vabalov Complex Emergency Exit. This exit is intended for exiting the complex in the event of an emergency. Alright, that's in the name, but sure. Entry and exit by graduate students and complex employees residing in Forester Village. Entry and exit by service personnel. <laughs> okay. Uh, memo. Uh, please read this message the first time you punch in. You're an employee. Alright, I do not care. Some kind of gross plant just started growing in my garden. Ooh. Hints of, you know, evil sprouting, huh? Uh, what about this one? Next Monday, the triumphant launch of Collective 2.0 will take place. However, due to the work schedules of employees residing in the village, not everyone will be able to go to the VDNH. That sucks. Uh, graduate students. Poor guys, right? I assume all of them got killed by the robots? Alright, let's move on. Also, I did face a glitch actually when I was uh, when I first loaded into the game. Uh, it takes a bit of time to kind of render out the textures properly. A lot of the assets are in like the lowest lord forms. And when I was switching weapons, they were automatically firing. So you might notice my shotgun ammo is not as high as it could be. But there we go. We're right entering the open world. Shit. Chelas. What are they doing? The Chelas. They're repairing broken robots. The more chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I mean, I don't think I can ignore that. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Uh, the Hawk Relay and the Wind Catcher... WTG. The Hawk is the ecosystem's regional uplink. It stays in the air powered by a wind generator. A Hawk can be controlled via a terminal. Any hostile activity picked up by the Dandelion CCTV cameras will result in a sending will result in sending a level 2 alert to the nearest robot assembly plant calling for reinforcements. Okay. So I see a cam uh, camera over with... There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, 
The hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the hawk will deploy additional forces. Well, that's a lot of robots. Is that a... How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Okay, I hope you can... Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terish Kovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov... Oh, I keep getting that you have to do this for the stealth part. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Tereshkovas. Yeah, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks for nothing. Okay, something tells me that I'm going to start running a lot from the uh, these robots. Because my, my ammo count doesn't seem great. What does this have? Uh, apartment one. Hey Maria, could you put me down for a perm tomorrow? My roots are starting to show. I like. I look like Granny Zena. Ew. Hey, there's nothing wrong with gray hair, okay? Can I get a nine uh, a.m. appointment? Maria I took a day off. Ludmilla got one of those poly hairstyles for her wedding. Could you do that for me too? Okay. I see. So this guy, I assume, is the uh, guy who wanted a perm. I don't see your roots, dude. You seem to be. You seem to have nice brown hair. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I did hear- yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a bull. That's a cow or whatever, but that... ...is an enemy robot. This thing looks kinda cute, doesn't it? Kinda reminds me of the, uh, Chainsaw Man demon. I've- I think it's called, what, Pochi, whatever it's called. Can I... There we go. Wrong button, wrong button. Oh. I hope nobody heard that. There's another dandelion over there. Can I hit the... I can, good. So the range upgrade is definitely proving to be useful. The collective seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Sechenov said I needed to hurry. A frontal assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Wait, this house looks exactly like the other one. Remarkable. Uh, miss you. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be on duty for another six months. Collective, your husband, Vladimir. Rest in peace, Vladimir. Ooh, Annie's been hurt. Hmm, looks like the wife maybe fell sick or something. I don't see a dead body here, so... But that looks like blood. Okay, I can't go out that way. Where the, oh yeah, this is where I came from. Is there any camera I'm supposed to watch out for? Can that thing scan me? And there's something up here as well. Robot over there. No, no. You saw nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They didn't get alerted, looks like it. Oh, no. They did. They did. Wait. How the hell am I supposed to? Easy now. Easy. Go, 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 go. The Snap-A module lock is used by the ecosystem to control access to important areas. Only the dandelion camera can interact with the lock. An administrator can connect to the camera through the nearest Volan auxiliary in interface. Damn it. The 
gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS-2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Alright, I found the Valon. Um... Listen, Ivan. Toward the end of my shift, I started using light signals to talk to the guy in the lighthouse on the other side of the lake. See it over there? It's called the Neva Lighthouse. I figured he was lonely. I mean, I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sahalin, along with the lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? Just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there, sending signals to ships, and now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift. Is he talking about that lighthouse? That seems to be the lake over there. Anyway. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny! Is that you? She lived? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. You know, I'm surprised she survived that, considering that entire area got blown up. Uh, let me just loot here real quick. All right, here we go. Son of a bitch! I'm getting tossed around. Oh! Damn, Granny! Oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Granny is a badass. Damn, look at that. Well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Oh no, she has one of those sexually driven upgrade machines. The Nora. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Setchenov, I, son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry Corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal!
I am fully aware of... Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy. My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision, and I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Okay, so I got um, a blue access granted. Weapons. Again, I don't have enough resources. Come on, how do I? That's annoying. What about skills? Can I grab some skills? Thirty-four. Um. Your glove can surround you with a polymeric uh, shield that protects you from melee and range damage and redirects spot. So is this a passive thing or is this an active thing? Install. Okay, it's, it is a... Um, it's like an active thing, I see. Okay, there it is. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. 
I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. That doesn't explain how you survived. But oh well. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. Where is it? I what? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a oh, there it chicken is. before? Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. It is kind of cute, actually. In a weird way. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Xena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. All right, I get it. I'm stupid. I get it. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box. Rings in a box? No, Granny Xena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Wait, I thought I came here for another weapon. I got a, I got a blooper, yes. Charles, but... who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So... What about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Eh, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Oh, actually, I want to check something. Can I see the map? So yeah, M is the map. I can't zoom out. Oh, this is the maximum zoom, really? All right, you know what? We're finally in the system. Oh. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Active cameras, 12 out of 15. What am I... Oh. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. I guess this this is the building I'm trying to... No, I don't think so. Uh... Okay, let's open the gate. Oh, the gate's open. Okay, cool. Uh, here we go. But yeah, I do feel like my weapons... I was hoping for another weapon, but I guess not. Okay, that guy's over there. I wish I could ping enemies, you know? Just make sure I know where they are at all times. But... Not the worst thing in the world. I am definitely going to probably skip a lot of the enemy... Encounters in the open world. The crowd speed is definitely too damn slow. Oh my god! Where's the audio sometimes? Like, 
That's not what I was hoping for. Oh, I'm taking damage. Oops. Yeah, just... I swear I destroyed these cameras. But I guess they got repaired, right? That's probably what happened. Where the hell did you go? They're increasing their sensor range. You've triggered their sensors, Major. Oh shit, what am I taking damage from? Get your ass in, get your ass in! Okay, so what I've noticed is that there's Shit, where do they keep coming from? Too a many enemies in the open world. Delivering them from a nearby factory. There were like six cameras just in that location. Doesn't seem like um Stealth is gonna be super viable as I play more and more. Uh, Dragon feels pretty good, uh, so far. Very far cry -y. Oh, the turning radius, though. Alarm. I wonder how long it takes for the alarm level to go down as well. Still stuck on... Definitely make this right turn. Good. Sup, bitches? But yeah, I think uh, at least for this video, maybe in the next, maybe the next one as well, I will show some of the open world what it looks like. But after that, I'll start skipping and cutting out stuff just so I don't waste too much time fighting enemies and you know. Right. Seem to be heading towards the Maglev. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. What the hell? Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. All these civilians, poor bastards. All right, we're supposed to head up. <laughs> Pretty balloons, and they don't pop. Alright, this game just lost a point. The fact that I can't pop a balloon with a sharp axe? Bullshit. Oh. Hello. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. 
There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people oh with Oh my god, I get it. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed by Chalamet engineers, Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network, Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. I'm almost out of time. Wait, I'm the one who asked the question. Why is he... Oh, you know what? Never mind. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Okay, find a train ticket. Really? <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? There are no tickets! The window is closed! I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide! Get away! You'll tick me off to the robots! Oh, this is pointless. What about... See, something tells me I have to go there. Something tells me that's where I have to go. Kai, rescue. Failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Ramen key. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. I comprehend. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna directly head towards this marker since it's the farthest one, which means uh, that it's definitely gonna have my train ticket. I got a few shot Kalash rounds. Ooh, is that an AK-47 I can get in the potential future? Oh, hey, buddy. So, right, let's see. It doesn't look like there's any threats in here. Uh, just gonna make sure I loot up everything. So this guy probably died, and then the robot died to the shelf falling on it, which surprises me. You think a robot would be sturdier than that? Um, what's in here? Nope. Really? How am I... Supposed to get in. Oh, the window here, maybe. Okay, okay, I see. 
Why does it tell me how to leave polymer every time I enter it? I know, game. I know. Uh, here we go. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. Sorry, comrade, but there's no need for you to hide anymore. Are you trying to say they killed me? I knew it! Really? How? It's been several nights, but I'm still huddling in the same spot, and I can't remember what happened before the alarm went off. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have <laughs> How I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach Rafiks. They're dangerous. All right, cool. See, I told you. The farthest one would be the one which would give us our required... Um, ticket. Back it up, boy. But yeah, um... It's like, you know, game design 101, right? Oh, we have four options, but the farthest one will only be the one that gives you your objective, so... No need to waste my time. Can I enter this place? No, I cannot. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a good beat. All right, Rafik. Here is your train ticket. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding oh my god, BT, keep your is mouth shut. Of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. Are, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnyevskaya Charles? Station. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got. Okay. I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of it? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sechenov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like now. okay, okay. 
Uh, Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sechenov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, Anything okay. else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This'll come uh, in. You're a soldier, Agent P3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? The slippery little bitch! Oh, what is this? Okay. All right, I have pretty here. no idea what just, just happened. Just like Moscow. Uh, testing grounds. Actually, more futuristic and on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Okay, yeah. Uh, inside facility, there are many secret testing grounds uh, where you can find a variety of blueprints to upgrade your arsenal. Entrances to the testing grounds are marked on the map with a question mark. In addition, the Nora repair vendor can tell you the approximate location of the testing ground with blueprints you need. Select the upgrade you are interested in, then tap M. Okay, I see. Um, I don't know where that guy came from. I don't know. Uh, I, I just don't know. Like, I was... It was going really cool so far. I thought we were going to fight that big ball robot or whatever, but... This guy came out of nowhere. I actually don't know where he was, because he wasn't on the train with us. I guess he was... Here somewhere? I don't know. I'm confused. Reach the exhibition. That looks pretty cool, though. Uh, let's heal up real quick. Um, and move on. Uh, so there's a testing ground here. I'm over here. Okay, I see. Yeah, okay. I guess, yeah, I know there's a bunch of robots. What is this? Testing ground 6, testing ground 1. Alright, how do I get down? Where are these staircases? Um, am I stupid? Oh, I guess I have to use this to activate something. Monorail station. Nope. Uh, there's another camera over here. Oh, there's a st staircase right there. Right. I see, I see. I am stupid. I just missed it. Oh, Come hello, Nora. On. Not that hooker bot again. Watch out. There are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. He's just warning you, Please dude. select the desired procedure. Um... 144 or whatever this is, uh, metal parts, and I need, uh, superconductors. <coughs> really? They can attack me while I'm in a menu? That's unfair. Alright guys, you know what, I think I'll end the video right over here. Let me just kill this guy first. Uh, yeah, I mean, def it's good to see the open world. Uh, didn't get to see much of it, though I'm not a big fan of how many cameras are present in the open world. Um, there's one right here again. And there's another one right there. Like, stealth is going to be annoying in this game, isn't it? Something tells me I'm just going to have to beeline it to the objective instead of worrying about, you know, slowly getting past these things. Uh, but that was a pretty fun set piece uh, before that guy came out of nowhere and did something to us and gave us something i don't know the game isn't explaining anything to us yet but if you guys did enjoy it do show your support below and i'll see you guys next time take care